Welcome back, everyone, to the fine and dandy world of Emacs. So in this video, we're going to talk about one thing in Emacs that is not obvious. Everything else in Emacs and org mode is so simple and well designed. You can just open up Emacs and you know exactly what to do. Everything just appears before you. And if you're confused about anything at all, you know, you've got my videos and other great people on YouTube and elsewhere who have talked about it. But refiling a very important aspect of org mode uh, is a little more complicated because you have to configure it in order to get it to work properly. What what refiling does is it allows you to take a heading in one file and move it to another file, but not just to another file, to an actual specific heading in another file. So let me demonstrate uh, an example of how it can work, and we're gonna we're gonna have some fun with it here. All right. So in order to get it to work, you do have to set the variable org refile targets. This is one uh, recipe I found online uh, from a guy named Aaron Bieber, and he basically set it so that every org agenda file, every file you have listed as, as one of your agenda files, basically, is a possible target for refiling. And what that means is basically when you do a refile, you can't just refile to any file in your file system. You have to have a, a dedicated list of targets. And I think the agenda files is a good way to do it. Some people might use an org directory, like you can set the variable. Um, I've never done it before, but you can have a directory of org files that you specify as your org directory. And then you just, um, you basically put in that list whenever you need to access that directory, for example. But I think agenda files is, is easy because it's a variable that's already set up and there's a hotkey for it when you want to add a, a file to the agenda. So it, it's a good option. And here, max level, uh, this basically means uh, we, we're going to have available headings in the document up to three levels deep. So you're familiar with that. So this would be like heading level one, uh, the two asterisks, whoops. That's heading level two and, and, you know, so forth. If you had an extra one, oh, sorry. I'm using the org indent mode here. I'm not totally used to it. Heading level three. So basically when we find our file and we, we have various files in our agenda, we have headings all the way down to level three available as refile targets. So I think that's pretty good. Maybe it's not necessary for you. Maybe like levels one and two are sufficient, but three is fine. I think it's, it's good to have as an option. Uh, now we're not gonna use this file here. Let's say, let's go back in and let's create a file called, uh, you know, life plan, let's say. So now let's, let's imagine you have, um, you know, like next actions. Let's say you're doing a GTD or something like that. And you know, you're making a, a life plan here. So you've got next actions, uh, you might have, um, you know, to do next quarter, or maybe you have a bucket called, uh, you know, someday, maybe, like things you might want to do off on that someday list. So now, under next actions, you might think, uh, you know, I want to, uh, you know, get new toaster, let's say in uh, next quarter, I want to, uh, you know, I want to learn how to play guitar. And someday, maybe, maybe someday I will, uh, you know, climb mountain. So, so now you're, you're making a life plan. You've got a few things listed here, but now let's say, ah, you know, this quarter is busier than you thought and I want to move get new toaster to next quarter. Now, uh, in in this situation, it would be easy. You could actually just like copy this uh, subtree here, and and anything beneath it, and then just yank it or paste it under to do next quarter. Uh, but if you have multiple agenda files or different files for different um, projects or different parts of your life, or you've got one thing at at work or in, in different spots. Um, instead of having to go look for that file so that you can copy something into it and, and, and paste it there, you can actually just refile it instead. But first, as we mentioned, uh, refile targets are going to be under our org agenda files. So let's add this to the list of, of org agenda files. Uh, the hotkey for that is control C and uh, left bracket. So there you see in the mini buffer file added to front of agenda file list. 
So now what we can do is control C, control W is the hotkey for refiling. So now I have some options here um, where I want to put this. So let's say I want to put it on, you know, to do next quarter. But you see, we also have down here, uh, it's like I could actually refile get new toaster under get new toaster, or I could refile get new toaster under climb mountain. That's because we have our headings going down three levels. So if you wanted to limit this, for example, to just next actions to do next quarter, we could switch it to level one. Um, so yeah, that again depends on, on how you want to have things nested. So in this instance, it, with a, a file of, of this simplicity, it's not super complex. You know, maybe level one would be good. But, uh, but either way, we know, we know what heading we want. So I'm going to write in, you know, to do next quarter. Um, I have Vertico, so it's, it's automatically... Um, it's presented in a list, but there's also autocomplete, you know, you could tab forward, uh, but we're going to select that and there you go. So now get new toaster has been refiled under to do next quarter. And of course, uh, like if, if you had, if you had this tagged, you know, something like, you know, next quarter and your agenda uh, or however you wanted to organize this, you would now see get new toaster and learn how to play guitar under get new quarter. Um, so yeah, that that's basically that's basically how that works. Now you can just imagine having this across multiple files, so that if you wanted to target uh, a heading in a in a completely different file, that would be presented to you as well, either with tab audio completing or with something like Vertico if you have it installed. But there you go. That is that is org refiling, and of course, uh, how much you can do with this is really the, the sky's the limit. I just wanted to give you the the initial uh, front level view of, uh, of how to get this set up and get it going the, the way you want so that you can use your imagination and go to new exciting places with it. Uh, but that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, if you look down below, I have a link uh, where you can get 200 free dollars to spend at, uh, at DigitalOcean. Yeah, free dollars. It's a, it, that's a legitimate concept. So um, if you want to spin up a server and do something fun at DigitalOcean, you can use that link in, uh, in $200. Uh, it's not bad. You could actually do quite a bit with that. Uh, but there you go. If you like the video, uh, I hope you will give it, a, give it a like or share it. Do anything you want to do with it. And you can subscribe if you want to see more. But that's, a bit, that's it for me. I'm going to get out of here. I will see you all next time. Have fun refiling in your org documents.